hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is staying in your room. Yeah, guys, the topic is staying in your room. There are so many teenagers that are staying in their rooms. And, um, you know, hey, to be honest, I actually have one that is doing the same thing. And parents, we just have to really watch our children because they stay in the room. They're doing things that they shouldn't be doing or I should be dressing the kids. You guys are doing things that you really shouldn't be doing. And it's really not a healthy environment for you guys to just stay in the room all the time. Um, there are so many different things going on. Kids, um, you know, doing mass shootings and, you know, ordering things through the mail that they really shouldn't be, you know, having the ability to order through the mail and different things like that. So, you know, you know, for one, you know, let's start with this. For one, it's not healthy. You guys are in your room with the door closed. For what reason? Um, you, you're not changing clothes. Uh, what are you doing that, you know, that has to be so private all the time? Um, I'm not really understanding that whole concept because if we as parents, you know, can have our open door policy, then you guys as kids um, should also do the same and respect your parents and keep your door open. Um, there has been, you know, a lot of kids that are ordering things through the mail and then you know going to schools and doing the unthinkable for what reason i don't i don't get that whole debacle of you know harming um people for reasons unbeknownst to me i don't understand that whole concept of you know just harming others um that just shouldn't it just shouldn't be um, so that's the whole reason I am, um, you know, coming to you guys today because for one, you know, stop closing the door all the time. Don't close the door to your parents. Your parents love you. They care for you. Um, and I know the society is not as close as we used to be, but try to talk to your parents. If you're going through something, try to talk to your parents. If you can't, you know, talk to your parents, go to an auntie or uncle or a counselor at the school or school or something like that. Somebody that you feel comfortable talking to. Because this whole, I'm going in my room and I'm closing my door or I'm putting my AirPods in and, you know, I won't be able to listen to you. You know, what, 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 what is that? You know, like we as parents, we already have a whole lot to deal with. And then you closing yourself off, you know, children of nowadays, kids of nowadays, I'm not understanding why. You know, we pay bills for you guys, we take care of you guys, we feed you guys, and then you go and disrespect us by putting your AirPods in when we're talking, closing the door, shutting yourself off to society, and it's just like, for one, your parents need you. You know, you need to get up, move around, do some exercises, help, you know, hey mom, is it anything I can do? You know, you want me to wash dishes or take out the trash? Do something. Like, hey, you know, this is just going on too too much. And I hear so many parents saying, or, you know, uh, Sasha stays in her room, or Lisa stays in her room, or Becky stays in her room, you know, and she closes the door and leaves the door closed all the time, but why? You know, why do you feel like that's okay? As much as your parents do for you, as much as we sacrifice for you guys, how do we get to the point where we can't even talk to you and you listen to us? Comment below, guys. Give me some feedback. Let me know because I don't want this to be one-sided. I actually really want to know why. You know, how do we get to the point to where, you know, the kids get to go in and the parents are like in fear of their own child and this is just going on and it keeps going on in our society. It has to stop. Like we have to come together as a united front and stop this. Like seriously, like it's like you go in as a 12 and 13 and 14 year old 
and then you just continue to do it from 13 to 14 to 15 to 16 to 17 to 18 and you come out a monster like who does that so <clears throat> if this is just going on and on and on apparently something's going on that's not not healthy so we actually have to really do something to try to stop this vicious cycle you know we can't you know try to raise you to 12 and 13 for you just to go in your room shut the door until you're 18 like no we we have to come to a, a agreement we have to come to some type of halt with this whole debacle because that's just what it is it's a debacle and i hate to sound like i'm preaching this time but i am really upset with this behavior that you guys are portraying i love you I, everything that i i do and when i come to you guys it's all in love but let's stop you know trying to put fear into our parents for what there's no need to do that so let's come to some type of common ground go to your parent talk to them if it's something that's on your mind something you need to talk about or something like that let's let's just try to you know let's just try to have the open door policy let's figure out what's going on so we can get that door open so we can stop staying in our room for eight to ten hours at a time only coming out to eat or use the restroom or occasionally take a shower you know like i said i love you guys but we have got to come together we have got to stop this okay i love you guys so much if you have any questions concern comment below i love you guys so much and until next time guys have a wonderful day